Hello guys, and welcome to the first episode of my new Lost Media series. Uh, basically, this series is going to cover various forms of Lost Media. And, uh, yeah, first up, we have a topic that I find to be pretty interesting. And this is because it's not just a Lost series, it's an entire Lost network. Per se, uh, I'm I'm gonna be explaining that a little later, but uh, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this on YouTube, so yeah, let's begin. So the Dumont Television Network was founded in 1946, and it was one of the first uh, television networks uh, in America. And, um, it's known as one of the pioneer slash landscape, uh, television networks. And it used to rival, uh, networks such as NBC and CBS. The network's programming was very low budget, and a lot of it was performed in front of a live audience, and quite a bit of it was from a single actor. Uh, the show that you're seeing right now is uh, a picture of Mary Kay and Johnny, which was the first ever situational comedy, and it was broadcasted on this network, and to this day, it's lost. Some other uh, shows that were popular on the network included Ted Max, The Original Amateur Hour, uh, Captain Video and his Video Rangers, uh, Rocky King Inside Detective, uh, and the, the John, Johns Hopkins Science Review. Despite the popularity of these, uh, television shows, uh, Dumont really struggled, uh, in its ten-year history, uh, there was tough competition from the other networks, uh, like NBC, ABC, and CBS. And, uh, those networks were really doing better than Dumont in, uh, terms of both ratings and popularity of their shows. By September 23rd, 1955, all of Dumont's programming had been cancelled, and at this point, it was just mainly sports programming that was being broadcasted on the network. The last broadcast on the Dumont Television Network was uh, boxing from St. Nicholas Arena. Um, and this uh, final broadcast is actually being preserved at the UCLA Film and Television Archive. So it does survive but it is being kept out of public view. Anyway, that's it for the history of the network itself, but you're probably wondering, why is this considered lost media? And uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it is considered a lost network. The reason for this is because in the 1970s, uh, much of the network's extensive archive was destroyed. It was dumped into the New York River, East, East, excuse me, the East River in New York. Some shows and uh, episodes of shows in, throughout the network's history have been uh, recorded via kinescope but not many have and therefore much of the uh, network's archives are considered lost and likely will never surface. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for this video. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for watching and uh, checking out my channel. Uh, this Lost Media series is going to be a regular thing. I don't know how often I'm going to upload it. And also this channel, uh, I would like to 
use it for other stuff too, such as gaming, uh, when I get the chance, uh, and I apologize if the quality of this video is not that good, and I've been pausing a lot, and I understand that, um, yeah, <laughs> I just paused right there. Anyway, um, I hope to see you guys, uh, in another video, and, yep, yeah, peace.